Six ranked Mayo hosting John Marshall. The thing I love about rivalry games, that you can just throw the records and the rankings out. And this one was a battle. First half, Owen Franken. This is a gorgeous through ball to Abu Bakar Muhammad. One on one, but dun, 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 dun. That's Anthony Dunn with the kick save. What a stop. And JM here with the corner kick. Well placed. Well, header takes a bounce, but Dunn reaches up. Little go go gadget. Extend no arm there. Nothing on the board in this one. Spartans on the attack now. Ball leaks out, and there's some hot sauce on this one through traffic. But David Carter stonewalls him. What a game we have at Spartan Stadium as John Marshall shuts out Mayo, winning 1 0. It's the Spartans' first loss this year. What a win for the Rockets. The pitch to the tennis courts now. Well, HBL battle as top ranked Lord hit the road to face Stewartville. We'll start at one singles. Lord's Elise Palin taking on Chloe Regal. Palin approaching the net, makes Regal go across the court and returns high. Palin slams it down for the point. Regal says right back at you though. Look at this beautiful backhand winner slides right by. Then again, you can go ahead and give her the crown because she is Regal. Little forehand winner for the Tiger as we go to one doubles now. Eagles, Catherine Steve and Molly Sweeno against Addison Manley and Katrina McCluskey. The D Tigers duo sees this return go out of bounds for the Lord Eagle point, but the Eagles return the favor as this shot on the serve sails out just on that line. It's a good battle between these HVL foes. Lord gets the win five to two, the final. From the tennis courts, let's head over to Tyrell Ski and Sports here in Rochester. At the store this evening, ski fans and others were able to come out and meet Caroline Gleick, a pro ski mountaineer in Rochester native. Born and raised here until her family moved to Utah. She was 15. Gleick came back today for a meet and greet. Fans got to watch two short films, then there was a Q&A session. Gleick's career has taken her everywhere. She summited Mount Everest in 2019 with a fully torn ACL. She's the first woman and fourth person to ski all 90 lines in the shooting gallery guidebook. Like told me that she got her first pair of skis from Tyrell. So my question to her, what would a young like think of her now? I think that little me is freaking out right now because I never in my wildest dreams would have imagined that this would work out for me. And I think what I want other people to know is to dream big. And Rochester may not be a town that that many people know, but we have legendary, accomplished people who come from here. And so to keep dreaming big and to follow those dreams. Along with dreaming big, Glag is a pro athlete and activist who uses her voice and platform. Left the message for those young skiers and athletes out there. On the path of becoming a professional athlete, that there are a lot of setbacks and injuries. And so to be resilient and to keep showing up and speaking up and also to make your career about more than just skiing. I think it's really important to give back to people in the planet and to have a set of values and to act in line with your values.